Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Katrina. If you follow my videos, you know I've been transferring my island into a Harry Potter theme, so that's what we are going to be doing today. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so you're always notified whenever I upload. So let's get into the video. So in my last video, I gave like a quick look at the fall update and I was trying to figure out how to get the skin uh, color changer and eye color changer and I didn't realize then that you had to go to the nook stop so this is what i came up with i thought it would be fun to do this look for the video um it's supposed to be like a zombie mermaid i don't know so this is the area we're going to be working on today it's the area behind privet drive i wasn't sure if i just wanted to have water behind here but since the park is next to it that kind of extended out more than i thought so i figured i might as well extend this area out too um again like my island entrance video which if you haven't checked that out i will either put it in the cards above or in the description below um it's not really based on any kind of area in harry potter um it's just kind of an area i kind of wanted to design mainly since this is like the muggle side of the island which is you know non-wizard no magic i wanted to have as many like muggle regular items as much as possible so you see a big difference between this side and then the harry potter wizarding world um so yeah i'm moving nooks crannies here which actually kind of worked out because i had no other idea to use nooks crannies for anything else um i know i want to put the able shop in a certain location um but i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do with nooks crannies so it kind of worked out that i put it there um so yeah here i'm just adding hedges around and I'm just figuring out how I want to arrange everything. So here I'm just laying down, I always forget this name, I think it's called arch, arch tile, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm just laying that down. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that or if I'm going to put a custom design over it. But um, yeah, this is what I did for now. So when I was thinking that I was going to put nooks crannies, I thought it would be cool to have maybe some costumes in front because um, in the Wizarding World, I don't think they really celebrate Halloween. Well, obviously, they're not going to dress up like they would do in the Muggle World. So, yeah, I thought it would be cool to put some costumes out front. So another idea I had in mind was to have maybe like a little farmer's market or something. I wasn't sure if I would have space to have like an actual little, um, not forest, like all the tree, the fruit trees. Um, but I kind of, well, I didn't really have the space to do it anyway, but I kind of didn't really want to do it just because, um, I don't know. When I started Animal Crossing, I wanted to have like a big orchard and everything like that. Now I don't really need it so much. So, um. Yeah, I'm just adding some random items. I'm taking all the cardboard fruit boxes and I am going to be transferring it over here. Again, like I said, I want there to be a big distinction between the Muggle world and the Wizarding world. So in the Wizarding world, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen like a farmer's market in Harry Potter or even like a soda or drink machine. Um, so yeah, just the little details like that. I want there to be very different items in each part. Thank you. 
so yeah here i'm just kind of figuring out how i want to arrange everything um i didn't like how it looked before i feel like it looked too too cluttered um so yeah i'm just trying to figure out how i want to place everything So here is what I came up with so far. I'm really happy with the area. There's definitely a little tweaks I want to add to it. Like I might take out that stall that the fruit is on and put another one of those, um, I forgot what they're called, I think ironwood low tables. Um, I might put instead of those bench, I don't know what they're called, bench chairs, I might put maybe like a little um, iron garden table and iron garden chair to have like a little cafe look. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'm going to kind of reorganize the Halloween costumes. I don't know if I'm going to keep that lantern on the floor or put it on something. But yeah, this is what I came up with so far. So yeah, let me know what you think about this area. Again, it's not really based off anything in Harry Potter. It's just um, an extra area that I wanted to design. But I kind of like it because I think it helps show the distinction between the Muggle world and the Wizarding world with just using a lot of items that I'm not going to be using in the Wizarding world. I definitely have some tweaks and adjustments to make, but I really like where it's going so far. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this is going to be the, yeah, this is going to be the last of the muggle world um well we have one more area to do but then we are going to be getting into the wizarding world which i'm really excited for i have so many ideas i just hope they come out how i envision them in my head um so yeah let me know what you guys think if you haven't already i would really appreciate if you guys could hit the like button subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you're always notified when i upload if you made it to the end of this video maybe comment a pumpkin <laughs> put a pumpkin emoji so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye